everybody. Welcome to our math lesson today. Uh, this is a multiplication material called the checkerboard. Oh, that's my cat. Sorry, everybody. Minnie, get your foot out of here. Thank you, Minnie. You're going to sit and watch? Um, so this is a material that we use for multiplication. And down here we have units. Units are always green. Units, tens, which are always blue and hundreds, which are always red, of the simple family. Then we move on to the units, tens, and hundreds of the thousands family, and then the units, tens, and hundreds of the millions family. And then we can go up the side here, and we have units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So, the way this board works is here I have a four B bar. And if I put this four B bar in the unit square, that means that it's four units. So the number four. However, if I moved it right here into the 10 square, it's now four tens, which is the number 40. So right now this says 40, four, zero. If I move it up here, it says 400. Four zero zero. Here, it's four thousands. Here, it's four ten thousands, which means it's forty thousand. Here, it's four hundred thousands, so it's four hundred thousand. Here, it's four million. Forty million. Four hundred million. So if I were to put this here, this four in the tens and three units in the unit section, this is the number 43, four tens and three units, okay? If I did this, it'd be five tens and two units, so 52. If I were to take my four and add it here, now I have 452. If I put this here, I'd have 6,452. And if I put this here, so here we have, if you just ignored this and you just looked at three tens and six units, you would say, oh, that's 36. We need to stop and ask ourselves, what family is this 36 in? It's in the, this is the simple, so this is the thousands. So it's 36,452. So 36,452. If I put this here, again, we're just going to first look at the family. So this is seven hundreds three tens, six units, which would be 736, and what family is it in? Thousands family. So 7, 736,452. And remember the simple family is so simple that we don't have to say its name. We don't say 452 simple. It's more simple than that, 452. So this says, 736,452. Got it? So that's kind of how the board works. If I put, let me clear this real quick. Woo! Put them back in my box. So here it says 50. But this is also a 10 squared. Do you see the 10 here? So this second row starts with 10s. So this would also say 50. If it was here, this would say 500. This would say 500. And this would say 500. Here in the third line, the hundreds are the ones that start. This was 5,000. This would be 5,000. And this would be 5,000. And this would be 5,000. So a bead bar takes its value based on the square that it's inside of. Okay, Minnie, be gone with you, kitten. So let's go 
go ahead and do a multiplication problem with this material. So I'm going to multiply 3,241 by 2. So our multiplicand goes down here along the bottom, and our multiplier goes up here on the side. Okay. So what this says is we have to take each one of these two times. Now we always start in this corner in the units. Every time with multiplication, we always start with the units. So we're gonna do two times one. So I need to take out one, one time and one, two times. Then we're gonna take out two times four. Two times two. And two times three. Yeah. Now we've done our multiplication, but you remember before when we were reading numbers and there was only one bead bar in each square? Well, each one of these has two bead bars in it. We need only one. So again, starting with the units and always starting with the units, we are going to count these up together. So one and one equals one, two. So I'm gonna take out a two and I'm gonna take these ones away. Now we have one bead bar. Now we're gonna go here. Four times two is eight. If you're not entirely sure, the good news is, is you can actually count these beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We move on to the hundreds category. Two times two is four. Then the last category, the thousands, two times three is six. There we go. So we see our answer is 6,482. So 3,241 times two is 6,482, okay? Let's go ahead and do another one. So this time, I'm still gonna do by two, but I'm gonna pick a couple bigger numbers. So this time we're doing 4,867 times two, which means we have to take each one of these two times. We always start with the units. So two times seven, two times six. Now, if you knew the answers to these, you don't have to put out the two beads. You can just put out the answers, but we'll get to that step next. Two times eight, and two times four. Voila. Okay, so we've done our multiplication, but we need only one bead bar in each square. So we're gonna start here with the units. Seven times two. You know this is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I want you to picture 14 in your head. How do we make the number 14? It looks like this, doesn't it? A one and a four. Now, when you see this number, 14 is what we call a two digit number. One is a digit and four is a digit. When our answer is a two digit number, that means we have to use two squares to put our answer in. So this one starts with the square we were counting with and this one goes next door. So this is showing us what we need to put in our squares. So here, I need to put a four, and here, I need to put a one. Now, I'm not gonna take these sixes out 
because we still have to do two times six. You see how it looks like a 14, a one and a four. Okay, so now we're going to do the 10 square. We have to count all three of these together. So I am going to do it like this. We know this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's picture 13 in our head. We need a one and a three, like that. So the three goes above the square we were counting, and this one goes next door. So we see we need to put a three in this square and a one in this square. Okay, now we can move on to the hundred square. We need to add all three of these together. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So picture that 17 in your head. We need a one and a seven. So the seven goes above the square we were counting and one goes next door. So this says we need to put a seven here and a one here, okay? Pick this up, we're almost done. We have one square left. We need to count all three of these. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is just a one digit number. This is a nine. And when there's only one digit there, we only need to use one square. Just like we did our first problem. So I'm gonna put a nine there. So 4,867 times two equals 9,734. Pretty cool, eh? All right, let's do one more together. <clears throat> we'll reset our board. And this time, let's do so we're going to multiply 8,364 by 2, which means we need to multiply each of these by 2. So we start with the units, 2 times 4, 2 times 6, 2 times 3, and 2 times 8. Okay, so we've done the multiplication here. Now we need to start with the units, add up the bead bars, so we only have one in each square. So we know that this is four, five, six, seven, eight. We go here. We know this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's picture 12 in our head. My two little digits make the number 12. A one and a two. So we have a two digit number, which means we need two squares. This one goes above the square we've been counting. This one goes next door. Here we need to put a two. And here we need to put a one. Okay, let's move on to the hundreds. We have to do three plus three, so three, four, five, six, and then this is seven. That's a one digit number, so I can just go ahead and put a seven in here. We have our last category, the thousands category. We know this is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Picture 16 in your head. We need a one and a six for our two digits. This one goes above the square we were counting. This one goes here. So six goes here. A one goes here. And we have our final answer. Whoops. 8,364 times two 
equals, and remember, let's just look at this. One and a six is 16, and what family? Thousands, so 16,728. 16,728. Pretty cool, huh? So this is just the first lesson. Um, a lot of times you guys wanna go all the way up here to start. I recommend you stay here until you feel like you really get the hang of it, then get into bigger numbers. Same here. If you, what I recommend to do in, in the case of the multiplier is what math factor you're working on right now. So if you know all your twos, bump yourself up to threes, okay? Or wherever you are practicing your multiplication facts, make sure that's the highest one. Okay, if you're really good with your multiplication facts all the way up to eight, really cool, go ahead and do that, okay? That just means if we were to do this problem with eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see the bigger your multiplier, the more bead bars you're gonna have in each square, okay? So I want you to go ahead and practice this this week. And then next week, I'm going to show you 8,364 times 23. But that's a story and a lesson for another day. Okay? All right. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I am going to also send instructions on how to make your own checkerboard at home. You have a couple different options. So that way that you have something to practice with. I'm also going to be sending you a file that has um, all the beads. This is our box of beads. Ooh, these are glass, so they're very heavy. Um, oh dear, these got mixed up. This is our box of beads, and so um, the colors are the same. So I'm gonna show you or send you a file that has all the beads that you can print out and your kiddo is welcome to cut out. Um, when you cut them out, they don't have to be cut out perfectly. You can just cut them out in bars. Or you can make them with graph paper. But I'm going to go ahead and go over that just in the email I send you guys. Okay, great. Well, thank you. That's Checkerboard, and I hope you have a great evening. Bye-bye.